This is a Zippo lighter. I'm going to show you the Zippo butane conversion kit and compare it to the kerosene powered kit that comes with the Zippo. Made in America and China in the butane case. This is the steel version. You can see. Now this one happens to be empty or dry, so I'll show you how to refill it. Okay, to fill a traditional Zippo, you open it and you pull this out like that. And you see this material on the bottom and it tells you to lift to fill it. So we're going to lift up this felt pad right here like that to expose the material underneath. Okay so this is a can of um, hand warmer fuel for the Zippo branded hand warmer although it's the same kind of petroleum distillate it's a light petroleum distillate it also works with your Zippo windproof lighter so what you do here is you flip up this top like that you can hear the inrush of air because the can's cold and the room's warm and what we do here is we very carefully tip this up like this and then you can see I'm applying, whoop, spill a little bit, it'll apply um, a few milliliters of this fluid into here. What you're trying to do is soak the, the cotton. All right, and you push the felt back down and close the lid. And then you insert the unit like that back into your zipper. And then give it a second so that the Lighter fluid can work around in there. And then you want to test it, just go like that. And we can see that it's starting to wick the fluid through. So we'll just heat it up a little bit like this. I'll try that again, see if we can get it to light. I actually think it's just fun to open and close the, as a trademark sound. These are probably made in America. I'm just waiting for the wick to pick up some of the lighter fluid. I actually added a little bit more to see if we could get it to light. Is it working? So you can see that's the flame proof lighter. So even if I blow at it, it doesn't go out. To extinguish it, you just close the lid. To light it, you hit the flint wheel and you can see like this, it lights and then extinguish. Try that left-handed. Very effective, right? All right, well, that's all well and cool, and this is quite warm even from that amount of runtime, but we're gonna pull this unit out and set it down, and I'm gonna show you a cool upgrade. Now, this, a butane cartridge. There's the adjustment screw, the refill port, and this was made in China. There's the model number if you want to see it. Unfortunately, they don't make these in America. I have no idea why. It just slides in there like that and fits perfectly. To light it, you press down on the piezoelectric igniter, which creates a high voltage spark from that little ceramic wire thing there. And it makes a nice hot butane flame like that. and goes out when you lift off. Okay, now to refill this, you take it out and you get some of this butane refill cartridge stuff. This is a 75 milliliter overpriced unit that I got on Amazon. It contains as much as 20 disposable lighters. The way you use this is you pull the end off and then you apply this nylon end part to the bottom and then press down like that and hold down for a second and then after about five seconds most of the butane will have transferred and you lift off and then you can test it it'll be a little over pressure at first so it's not lighting and then it lights again once the pressure equalizes a little bit better so there you have it. You've got the different cartridge types for your Zippo lighter. I'm gonna park that butane one for a while because it doesn't leak and resume using the uh, mineral oil powered one. And happy Zippo lighting. Campfires, candles, whatever you need to light. Possibly a tobacco product, though I wouldn't recommend it. 
you need fire, there isn't a finer instrument on earth. Proudly made in the USA. You guys stay safe out there. Thanks for watching. Happy Saturday. And um, remember, fire is dangerous. It's one of the only visible chemical reactions you can see. You can get burned. You can, you can burn down your vehicle or building. It also produces carbon monoxide, so don't burn fires indoors. Don't burn generators indoors. You know, be smart. Be sane. Think intelligent and wise. If you're a parent and your child has one of these, teach them how to use it safely, where to use it, when to use it. Be responsible. Encourage others to be responsible. Fire was something that allowed mankind to develop. It was the first form of energy that we were able to use to manipulate the environment. Fire is one of the most interesting things you can observe, although it makes air pollutants. So we need to move beyond burning carbons and hydrocarbons like this. See the flame? Woo!